Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And I'm making this vlog real quick, just to answer a couple of questions, touch on a few topics, you know, and we keep it moving. Now, first off, a lot of my homies been hitting me up asking me, what do I think about the new BlackBerry? Now, everybody knows they got the Z10 coming out with the new BlackBerry OS, the BB10. What do I think about it? Am I going to cop it? You know, am I looking forward to it and all that? You know, what's the deal? So, to answer that, I'm an official old school dude. You know what I mean? Like, I've been rocking BlackBerry since day one. You know, since the wheel. All our old school cats, y'all know the BlackBerry with the wheel. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of BlackBerry and I'm hoping that this BlackBerry comes out and pushes Rim back on the map. Because everybody knows that the 9930 has to be the ultimate BlackBerry that's ever been produced, the best keyboard on the market. But the only thing is, um, you know, the phone was kind of slow and there's not too many apps. So that's my only concern with the new BlackBerry. Now, I'm definitely going to get it. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely getting it. It looks nice. You know, it has a nice build quality from what I've seen. Now, I never used it yet, but from what I've seen on all the videos and all that, it has a beautiful build quality. I'm, I'm really feeling all the swipe gestures and all of that. But my main concern is apps. You know, BlackBerry is notorious for not having too many apps. Now, of course, they're going to have all the basic shit, you know, Foursquare, Twitter, you know, Facebook and all that. But if they don't have Instagram, if they don't have Voxer, if they don't have, you know, a lot of the the new apps that's out right now, Temple Run 2 and all that, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough year for BlackBerry. It's going to be tough. And not to mention, you know, the phone is already kind of small. It looks kind of iPhone-ish. What's going to make somebody go out and get a BlackBerry Z10 over an iPhone 5, you know, if there's no apps. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm really hoping that BlackBerry comes back with this one because I've always been a fan of, fan of BlackBerry, but who knows, who knows? I, I can't really call it yet. I got to play with it first, but I'm definitely going to get it. I'm going to do a couple of videos on it and all that, and I, I'm definitely looking forward to it, definitely. You know, I, as far as, um, you know, BlackBerry Messenger and all of that, you know, that was at a time when people were still paying for text messages and all that. But right now, basically everything is unlimited. You know, nobody really cares how many text messages they send. So I don't really know how how good uh, BBM is going to do this time around. You know what I'm saying? But who knows? Um, if BlackBerry 10 comes out and it's popping and everybody start getting Blackberries again, then we can get back on this um, BBM, BlackBerry Messenger and all that. All right. Next. A lot of my dudes been hitting me up asking me what's up with the, the tempered glass screen protectors. You know, I did I did one for Mimi. I did the iLoom. Which one do I like better? So I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm definitely feeling the iLoom one a little bit better. It has a better presentation when you get it. It comes with the home button and all that. Matter of fact, and if I just got a package in the mail. I got the Galaxy S3 iLoom tempered glass screen protector. So we're going to review that in a couple of minutes. I'm actually on my way into the office right now. So when I get in the office, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to do a little video on that and see what it look like. But a lot of cats been hitting me up asking me, can you still rock a case if you're using a tempered glass screen protector? And the answer is yes. The tempered glass screen protector is only a few, few millimeters thin. So it, it's not going to take up too much space. So you could definitely use all the cases I, that I did on all of my videos. They all fit on all of the phones that I'm rocking with the tempered glass. So that answers that question. You could definitely use the tempered glass screen protector and you could definitely rock a case with it. All right. So that, that answers that. Next, uh, people have been asking me, what do I think of Samsung with a new OS coming out? That I don't know if y'all if y'all seen it yet, but Samsung has a new OS coming out called Tizen. Now, what do I think of the Tizen OS? Well, to me, it's it's, it's kind of like having a phone that's full TouchWiz. You know what I'm saying? It's like a TouchWiz phone. So I'm 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 looking at it like you know like something new. I'm not gonna be like I don't like it just because it's not Android, just because it's not Apple. You know, I'm willing to go into everything with an open mind. Like you should do the same thing too. Like just because something is new, don't be too skeptical about it. Like oh nah, it's whack just because it's new. You got to give it a shot. Now, if if it's if it's a good look then uh, it's going to be a problem for Android and Apple. You know, because y'all already know Samsung is killing it with the hardware. So now if they can match the software with the hardware and bring out their own ecosystem, it's going to be a problem. But um, right now, from what I see, you know, it looks kind of cartoonish, you know. You know, but like I said, it's still in beta testing. It's still in the, er the early phases, but we'll see. We got to wait and see a little bit more and see what it looks like. But if y'all never seen that, go on YouTube and um, look up Samsung Tizen OS and um, take a look for yourself. 
I'm me personally, like I said, when they come out with something, I'm definitely gonna get it. What else? Now, a lot of cats been asking me, um, what do I think about uh, Google with the Project X phone? Now, ever since Google took over Motorola, we haven't seen anything from Motorola yet. So everybody knows to this day, the um, the Motorola Photon is still one of the best built phones that came out that was running Android. So Motorola is always gonna be there when it comes to build quality. The Motorola Zoom is still to this day, my favorite built tab. So I'm really looking forward to Google and Motorola coming out with something new. Hopefully this Project X is, is gonna be something like a, like a Nexus if they run in stock Android on it. What a quality built Motorola phone. Y'all already know that Motorola got the best radios in the game. So when it comes to the radios, it's gonna be on point. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. We just gotta wait and see. Right now it's a little, it's a little slow right now. You know, not too much new stuff out. But um, I'm definitely gonna look at it, check it out when it comes out. Now, a lot of cats hit me up asking me, am I gonna do a video on the HTC DNA? Now, I already answered that in the, in the last video. I'm not, I'm not getting the DNA because I already got an Evo 4G LTE. And it's basically the same phone, it's just, on, it's just on Verizon. It's basically the same phone with a better display. Everybody knows the DNA got one, you know, one of the best displays out, but as far as the OS and all of that, it's another typical HTC phone. If you already got an HTC phone, there's no reason to get two of them because you know it's gonna be the same thing. And me personally, HTC, man, they fell off a lot. HTC phones lag too much for me. And that, and that has a lot to do with because HTC Sense is so heavy. You know, that UI is such a big UI. So a lot of times, you know, you get that load in, you get a little lag here and there. And, you know, that kind of turns me off from HTC. So hopefully the next HTC, they, they're supposed to be coming out with a big 5-inch and all that. Hopefully they, they, they condense HTC Sense a little bit and um, tighten it up so it could get lag-free like TouchWiz. You know what I mean? What else? A lot of dudes been hitting me up asking me, am I going to do a review for the iPad Mini? And the answer to that is, I'm not doing the iPad Mini review because I already gave that away. Now, everybody knows that, you know, I, I like Apple, I like Android, I like everything. But um, as far as tablets go, I, I prefer Android tablets over Apple tablets any day of the week. You know, that uh, I like rooting them, I like the S Pen, I like all the features and all that. You know, don't get me wrong, the iPad Mini on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a straight up. I give it a solid nine. You know, that tab, it does everything it's supposed to do. It's smooth, it's flawless and all that. But um, even with, you know, even now that they got the jailbreak out and all that, I don't know, man. I'm just not a big Apple tablet kind of guy. So I got it, I play with it for a while, I have fun with it and all that. But if I'm carrying around a seven inch tablet, I'm always gonna choose my Nexus 7 over an iPad mini. So, you know, the holidays came around and all that and I just gave that iPad mini away. So no review on the iPad mini, but don't get me wrong, if you like it, Go get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's whack. It's, it's a definite go, but just not for me. Speaking of jailbreak, now I did jailbreak my iPhone 5. I'll do a video on that once um, City is a little bit more stable and everything starts flowing smooth. Because right now, you know, now that the jailbreak just came out yesterday, basically everybody's, you know, flooding them servers. So it's hard to download anything right now. Even when you buy stuff, like it's hard to get a confirmation on something that you bought. So I'm gonna do a video on the iOS 6 jailbreak and all that. It's a it's a real I use Evasion. A lot of people ask me which one did I use. Basically, that's the only one I know of right now is, is Evasion. The jailbreak is simple. If you never did it before, go look on a YouTube video on how to jailbreak the iPhone 5. It, it took me all of all of 10 minutes to do two different phones. Alright, so jailbreak it so far I put barrel on it. I put TV tube, I put a couple of apps on it. You know, I got a, a, a few tweaks here and there. I changed the carrier logo and all that. So um, I, I'll do a little video and show y'all what that look like. But um, so far the iOS 6 jailbreak is, is, is finally popping. So maybe that's gonna force me to start using my iPhone a little bit more now. All right, I'll do a little video on that later. Next, a lot of cats been hitting me up asking me why am I doing so many um, cell phone case videos? Like what's up with all the cases? Why do you get so many cases? Well, to answer that is, look, Nowadays, a cell phone is more than just a cell phone. I said that before. You know, a cell phone is not like back in the days, you just go get a little gray flip phone. Everybody got a little flip phone. You don't care who makes it. You don't care what software is running. As long as you can send text messages, as long as you can make a phone call and get a voicemail and all that, then a phone was a phone. But it's not like that no more. Nowadays, a phone is more like an accessory. You know what I'm saying? So think about it like that. You know, do you go out and buy a $1,000 jacket and only buy one pair of shoes to go with it? Of course not. If you bought a red leather jacket and you paid $1,000 for it, you might go out and get some red Jordans, 
You might go out and get some black sneakers to go with it. You might get some tan Timberlands. You might get whatever, you know, you're going to get a bunch of different accessories to go with that main product. You know what I'm saying? And my iPhone 5, you know, I paid almost $1,000 for it. My Galaxy Note paid 700 for it. You know what I'm saying? I got the GS3 and all that. Like, all these phones I'm buying off contract. So if I'm spending all that money on the phone, best believe I'm going to get a whole bunch of accessories because my phone is more than just a phone for me. You know, you know, my phone is, is kind of like a, a fashion accessory nowadays. Sometimes when I go to the gym, I might grab the iPhone 5, put a little case on it, something different, you know, and, it, and, and that's how I move out. Now, keep in mind, I'm not telling you to go out and buy 10 cases, but if you go on Amazon and you just need to get a couple of cases, these cases are $3, $5, $10. There's no excuse to have one case on your phone, especially if you got a case that's white or, or blue or red. There's no excuse to have a dirty case on your phone. No excuse. The phone cases are too cheap nowadays. And especially if you're into going out to parties, clubbing and all that, you know, hitting the streets, you want to, you, you know, you already looking fresh. Why pull out your phone and your phone looking, looking beat down? You know, that kill your whole vibe. You know what I'm saying? So get a, get a nice case. That's why I got a, a couple of nice cases that cost $40, $50, 60 you know, VIP exclusive cases for when I'm hitting the streets heavy. And then I got a bunch of little bootleg knockoff cases from Amazon for when I'm up in the gym and when I'm going to work and when I'm just bullshitting up in the DMV or, you know, whatever. Whatever I'm doing, I got some, I got a different case, but my case is always going to be clean and it's always going to look nice. So that's why I'm doing all the case videos. So I'm just showcasing y'all, uh, you know, a bunch of choices of cases y'all can get. And that's how, that's how I do it. You know what I mean? Next, a lot of dudes been asking me now, now that all of these phones been out for the last couple of months, I've been playing with everything. What's my favorite phone right now? What is, is the Galaxy Note still my favorite phone? And to answer that question, without a doubt, out of all these phones I got right now, everything I've been playing with, even the phones that I didn't buy, like, you know, my man next door to me, he got the Nexus 4. So I've been setting up, I had to set it up for him. I showed him how to, how to root it and all that. So I've been playing with the Nexus 4 a lot. It's a great phone. I've been playing with the LG Optimus G. You know, it's a great phone and all that. But um, out of all these phones that I've been using the last couple of months, the Galaxy Note 2 is without a doubt still my favorite phone out. Point blank. The phone does everything. It has all of the features that every phone out on the market has right now. And it's killing the game with the S Pen. If you never use the S Pen, take my advice. Go to Sprint. Go to T-Mobile. Go to Verizon. AT&T. Whatever, whatever provider you got. Go there and play with the Galaxy Note 2. That's the only way you're going to really feel it. Because you can watch 100 videos online all day. But if you don't use that S Pen for yourself, you're not going to know how boss it is. You ain't going to know what you're missing. And a dude like me, you know, I use the S Pen pretty much every day. Every day when I'm, when, you know, y'all know I'll be flowing on Instagram all the time. I'll be, you know, when I, when I want to cut and paste something, I use that cut and paste feature more than probably any other feature on that phone. So the Galaxy Note 2 is definitely my all time favorite phone right now. That's the phone I'm not leaving home without. After that, then I rock with my GS3. I rock with the i5. I rock with my Evo. I rock with my Blackberry 9930. You know, then, you know, go down the line. But if I, if I had to choose one phone right now that I had to be stuck with for the whole week, Without a doubt, it's the Galaxy Note 2. Point blank. Next, a lot of dudes been asking me, what's my favorite tab? You know, same scenario with the tabs. I've been using all of the tabs that's out. I got a bunch of them. You know, I bought a bunch of them for other people. So, I, you know, I played with them before I, you know, before I gave them away. I played with them a little bit. I had the Nexus and all that. But without a doubt, my favorite tab is the Galaxy Note 10.1. And for the same reason why the Note 2 is my favorite joint. Because of that S Pen. Now, if you never use the Galaxy Note 10.1, you know, even without rooting it, it has Jelly Bean on it now stock, so it's up to date. But the S Pen, the S Pen on the tablet is a whole different world. Trust me, if you like drawing, if you if you need the tablet for productivity, if you got spreadsheets and all that, you got to do presentations at work and all that, all that stuff you could do on the Galaxy Note 10.1, but the S Pen is shutting down the game right now. Trust me, the S Pen is killing it. That's why you can never compare that to the iPad and to the Nexus and all that. Yeah, you know, you, we could talk, we could, we could get in a big discussion and talk about which one has a better display, which one has better speakers, battery and all that. But when it comes to all around, uh, all around features with the split screen, multitasking, and that, that magical S Pen, nothing else on the game right now is touching it. So when I walk out the door every day, trust me, I got my Galaxy Note 2 and I got my Galaxy Tab, uh, my Galaxy Note 10.1 in my bag. So that's my favorite phone and my favorite tab, both Samsung Galaxy Notes. All right. So that's my favorite tab and my favorite phone. What else? 
Um, that's about it. But before I get out of here, I know what y'all been waiting for, so I I, I gotta get into this now. So all of my all of my dudes that um that y'all don't want to hear all this kind of ignorant shit, stop the video right now. I give y'all a second to to turn it off because it's about to get ignorant. All right, turn the video off. Now for all of the real dudes that's out there, all of my homies, all of my Google gangsters that rock with me. Y'all know, and all of my dudes that been following me on Instagram, y'all know lately it's a lot of hate going on on YouTube. It's a lot of haters that that been coming through, spamming me out now in the last couple of weeks. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna address it to y'all like this. I told y'all from day one. Shout out to everybody that used to rock with me on my, on my old YouTube channel. A lot of cats don't know this is my second YouTube channel. All right, I had a YouTube channel first that was basically all car races, all um videos of me. Drinking and smoking and gambling and having mad fun, you know, doing all kind of crazy shit and all that, and uh, and of course a few tech videos. So when I started doing the tech videos, you know, a lot I got a lot of love for the tech videos. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna make another channel and gear it more towards tech, and I'm gonna still keep my having fun shit. I'm gonna still keep my car racing and car type shit and all that. I'm gonna still keep all of that, but the the, the main focus on the channel is gonna be tech tech related. So ever since I changed to the to the strictly tech related channel, and and this goes from even when I had 20, you know, 20 subscribers all the way to now when I got 20,000 and better. You know what I mean? Nothing don't change on my channel. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of cats been coming through with the hate. What's up with all the hate? Well, what's up with the haters? Now, I'm not going to start naming names and all that. All you got to do is go read through the comments on any one of my recent videos. And you see the haters for yourself. Y'all dudes that rock with me on Instagram. Y'all see I've been blowing these faggots up, you know, the last couple of weeks. Everybody that hate, I've been blowing them up. Posting y'all, posting their names on, online and all that, you know, exploiting them as a hater. Now, the thing that's killing me right now is a lot of these young cats that's coming out nowadays, they got this new shit out that they call trolling. All right, now for my OG cats, it, if you don't know what this is, I'll, I'll break it down for you real quick. A lot of cats got this new thing they calling trolling. All right, now us old school dudes, we 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 don't call it trolling, we call it hating. But you know, whatever. N nowadays, new school, new, you know, dudes calling it trolling. Look, there's a big difference between trolling and hating, all right? A big difference. Let me give you an example. All right, this is trolling. Shout out to my man, Go Gators. You know, shout out to <laughs> shout out to my man, Alfonso. You know, shout out to Josh, all of us. You know, trolling is when you friends with somebody already. You're already friends with somebody. Even if you're not friends with them, you know their name and all that. But if you, you know, if you respect somebody or somebody's cool, somebody putting out product that you like, trolling is more like breaking balls. All right. If I'm going to troll somebody's video, like like how my man be trolling me when I do the case videos, I do a case for a girl video, a, a, a iPhone, a pink iPhone case. Right. So dudes will be like, ah, Floss, you know, you really going to rock that iPhone case yourself. That's trolling. All right. You know, a little little slick joke here and there. You know, that's trolling. One or two comments here and there. All right. Now, you can't call yourself trolling if you stalk in somebody's video and you leave in 100 comments. That's not trolling, my dude. That you went across the line, yo. You hating now, yo. So y'all young motherfuckers that's running around talking about, oh no, I'm not really hating. I'm just trolling. Listen, yo. Li listen, let me listen clearly, yo. Clearly, you a motherfucking hater, yo. All right. If you if you if you if you claim you hate somebody, and you on the video leaving comments more than two, three, four, or five comments, that's not trolling, son. You hating, yo. Not to mention, if you hate somebody, why are you taking time out to watch all of their videos? All right. If you hate somebody, I'll give you an example. If I look down, this is just an example. I don't like Lil Wayne. You know, I'm not a big Lil Wayne fan. I'm, I'm more of an old school dude. I like I like Mob Deep, Jay-Z, Nas, all that type of old school hip hop and all that. I'm not really into this Lil Wayne, Drake, Young Money and all that shit, whatever. So now if I'm running around talking about, yo, I hate Lil Wayne. Fuck Lil Wayne. I hate that nigga. Fuck Lil Wayne, blah, blah, blah. If I hate Lil Wayne that much, when you go look at my YouTube channel and you look at my feed, you're not going to see no Lil Wayne videos at all at all now if you look at my feed and you see the last 10 videos i watched was little wayne yo guess what i don't hate little wayne i secretly love little wayne i love him or i love him i don't know how to express it maybe i'm jealous or whatever but the point is i don't hate him all right and that goes for all you faggots that be hitting me up every day talking about you hate black people you hate niggas you hate this you hate me blah blah blah, blah. you stalking me leaving 101 comments you don't hate me son you know, it, it's clear. His point is simple, yo. You don't hate me, yo. You actually love me, yo. 
Like, look, look, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna be dropping a whole bunch of names. Look at my video for the Galaxy Note 2. Look at my video for the Evo. Look what's been going on lately with, with some of these haters here. Mad comments, mad personal messages. Then don't, you know, I don't know if these motherfuckers realize or not, when you subscribe to somebody's channel, that person that you subscribe to gets an email saying that you subscribe to them. So y'all motherfuckers that come through hating on me, but then subscribe to my channel, dog, you 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 really love me, yo. I don't know why don't you just come out of the closet and say that you love me and stop stop pretending like you hate a nigga, yeah? Because you really love a nigga, yeah. Just like this faggot the other day, shout out to my goo gangsters. Y'all seen this video. I took that shit down already a long time ago because, you know, I'm not in the business of giving no fake niggas love and all that. But um, this motherfucker made a whole channel, try to copy my name, make a, you know, try to copy my voice and all that, try to make, make a video talking about he reviewing a plastic fork. Some bitch ass broke nigga. Yo, let, let me tell you something. This motherfucker, if you look at the video, the motherfucker got a, a, a dirty sock on the kitchen table. And a plastic fork. Why do I need to respond to videos like that? Yo, dog, I already won, you. There's no, there's no reason for me to respond to some nigga that's hating from a fake YouTube account. You know what I mean? A lot of these haters, they running around, and what they like to do is they like to hate from fake accounts. So you make a fake account, and then you try to start hating on somebody's videos. Why do you make a fake account? It's, 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 you, you think you're fooling somebody, but everybody knows why you got a fake account, son. Everybody knows, you. You don't want nobody to see your videos. A lot of y'all haters, y'all got videos out yourself, but you don't want nobody to see them because you be busy lying online all the time. You're busy lying and bullshitting all the time. I got dudes hitting me up talking about, oh, fuck BMWs, this and that, I hate BMWs, oh, blah, blah, blah. And then you go look at their channel, and they, and they drive a Honda Civic. They drive a Toyota Camry. Like, look, dog, I don't care what you drive. That ain't my business. But don't come on my channel talking about fuck BMWs, fuck this, fuck that, and then you go on your channel and you ain't got nothing. Or you hitting me up telling me how many Lamborghinis you got, how many Ferraris you got and all that. Come on, son, with the bullshit, yo. Nobody don't care about all that all that bullshit, yo. All y'all fucking haters, yo. Look, as I said before, I, there's, there's only one, one phrase I could use when I'm, when I'm addressing a hater. You'll see in the comments for yourself. All haters eat a dick, yo. That's my phrase. That's how I keep it real with haters, yo. Eat a dick because that's all you're really doing is dick riding. So if you're going to be dick riding, you might as well eat a dick while you at it. So that's why I always tell haters, eat a dick. It ain't nothing about, oh, some gay shit and all that. No, I always tell haters to eat a dick because you basically dick riding all day online. So while you're down there riding, you might as well, you know, have a bite to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not uh, I'm not making no videos addressing all of these haters one by one. I'm not doing that. Now, a lot of my homies been hitting me up like, yo, you need to, you know, shit on this nigga, shit on that nigga and all that. Look, I, I, don't get me wrong. No matter what happens, no matter what day and age it is, you're not coming through on my channel talking shit and getting away with it, all right? Now, why do I respond? Why do I go in on haters like that and all that? It's not only for my own personal entertainment, which it is entertaining, but I do this for a lot of my other homies who make videos. Shout out to, shout out to like Marquise Brown and Soldier No Best and all that. Like, look, I don't got nothing against nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I respect all of these cats that's out here putting out videos that's helping me out, helping y'all out, helping the community out. I respect all of these cats here, but a lot of these dudes, you know, making videos and all that, they want that to kind of be their career. That's, that's kind of like something that they want to get into, so they want to keep it professional. So that's why a lot of times you, you watch a Marquise Brown video, you read the comments, you, you got all the same racist cocksuckers that come through, yo, fuck you nigga, go back to Africa and all that, and you see he don't even respond to them cats. You know, and I respect that, you know, he trying to keep it professional and all that. So that's why when you come on my channel and all that shit, I'm responding to all of y'all haters, I'm shitting on y'all on all of the comments. Why? I'm doing it for my homies, and I'm doing it for myself too. Because me, I'm not doing YouTube as a career, it's not a job for me, I make videos for fun, yeah. I'm making this video just for fun. You know what I'm saying? I already got a career. Dudes that be like, oh, you're a drug dealer and all that. Whatever, son. I know you just mad because you broke and you hate. And like that, I don't pay that no mind. I already got a real job. I got a real career. I got a business and all that. So I'm not, I'm not paying that shit no mind. So that's why my videos, I don't got to keep it professional. I can say nigga. I can say bitch. I can say go eat a dick and all that. I can do whatever I want. If my videos are for fun. Anybody who don't like it, eat a dick. You don't have to subscribe to my channel. I don't, yo, I'll give anybody right now, anybody right now, Go through any one of my videos. I give you a thousand dollars cash. I I personally put a thousand dollars cash in your hand. If you can find any video of mine that I, at the end of the video I said, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. You never hear me say that. Why? Because I don't need to say that. I make videos for my homies, yo. 
You know what I mean? The homies, they're going to watch my video because they respect me. I respect them. I'm watching their videos. They're watching mine. I don't got to be like, subscribe to my channel. Real, recognize real. That's an OG saying. Real, recognize real. So if you're a real cat and you into real shit, you see I'm doing real shit, you recognize, yo. You want to subscribe because you like that shit? Yo, I respect that. Y'all hit me up on Facebook. I'm hitting everybody back. Y'all hit me up on Instagram. I'm following everybody back. Yo, it's real, recognize real. I ain't got to keep saying, subscribe to my channel. Please like my video. I don't give a shit who like my video or not. And that's another thing with this likes and dislikes shit. Some of y'all cats, y'all, some of y'all cats don't got no damn coof, yo. That's what we say in the, in the hood. We call that coof, yo. Y'all don't got no, y'all don't got no dignity, yo. You know what I'm saying? If you watch a video, right? If you go on somebody's channel and you watch a video, and the title of the video is, is Asus Prime unboxing, right? The person, I don't care what color they are, white, black, Chinese, African, it don't matter. If the person has an Asus Prime. They open it up, take it out of the box, show you what's in the box, show you what the product looks like. That's it. That's a successful unboxing video. There's no reason to be running around disliking everybody's videos just because you don't like the dude's voice, just because you don't like, you know, you don't like that that cat got more money than you. You see it, you've seen his other videos. He looks like he's balling harder than you, so you don't like his videos. That, that that's that bitch shit there. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I never I I could tell you I could count on my hand how many videos I disliked. In the last couple of years because me if i don't like something i just keep it moving you know what i'm saying that's what a real nigga do if you don't like something keep it moving you know what i'm saying it, now if i watch a video and i learn something for the video or I, I i cracked the smile i laughed out loud a little bit the video kept me entertained or whatever i'm gonna like that video just to show that person that yo i, I appreciate that you know, you don't get money for how many likes you get or you don't get penalized for how many dislikes you got nobody cares yo it's all about respect yo you know what I'm saying? If you watch a video and you got entertained or you learned something from the video, you like that man's video, let that man know. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? So with all that said, all I'm going to say about these haters is eat a dick. Everybody that come through hating, I'm blowing y'all up on Instagram. I'm blowing y'all up on Twitter. I'm shitting on y'all on the comments. And that's how I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing that from now until the day they shut my channel down. I'm going to keep doing that. If you don't like it, <laughs> eat a dick. Point blank, yo. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Like I said, every comment that come on that page, I see it. Even though I don't, even though I don't respond to every single comment, I read every comment. I read every post. I see every video y'all put up there. Everybody that's, yo, yo Floss, check this video out. I'm checking it out. Now, I don't have 100% time to respond to everybody, but y'all see, y'all see I respond to maybe 90% of the cast that hit me up on Facebook, 90% of the cast that hit me up on Instagram. I'm following everybody back. I'm responding all that. I'm out here. I'm accessible. You know what I mean? So that's how we're going to keep it flowing, all right? And special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% of the time, full throttle, all right? It's your boy Flaws. I'm going to uh, matter of fact, I'm going to catch up with y'all in about... Maybe about an hour. I'm going I'm to check out this um, iLoom Temper Glass for the GS3. So we get back to that in a couple of minutes. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. Deuces.